Hey everybody, it's Movie Buff Beth and I am finally back with another video. I know it has been a minute since I've been on here and I do apologize for that. Um, I did do a live with my friend Kevin two weeks ago, but I haven't recorded a video in well over a month and so it's a long overdue moment for me. I'll just say from the get-go here, I've had a lot going on in my personal life that has kind of prevented me from wanting to sit down and record videos. Admittedly, I've had to kind of push myself to even get to this point to record this one. I've had all of my movies set up and, and ready to go to record these videos for a few weeks now. It's tough to get there sometimes, especially when you take all this time off and to have to come back and, and sit down and, and do this again. I do love making videos though, so I'm sure I'll get back into the groove pretty soon. So going forward, I don't really know what the future of the channel will look like. Like, I know that I'm going to continue making videos because I really do enjoy it and I love talking movies with you guys. But yeah, just to be honest, I've been feeling really burnt out on collecting. It's been really impacting my mental health quite a lot over the last little while. Um, I did, you know, kind of address mental health a little bit in a recent video and, and that had some great reception. I had some great interactions from that. So, you know, you know I don't mind being honest about how I'm doing in that area and yeah, um, collecting has kind of burnt me out quite a bit lately. It's just become really obsessive for me. I have I have a really hard time with OCD. I tend to get carried away when I'm trying to collect things and obviously that has happened. I have a lot of movies. I'm not saying I'm going to get rid of the collection or stop collecting or anything rash like that, but I'm definitely taking a look at my collecting habits and kind of trying to adjust those accordingly to find that like happy balance, that happy medium. Uh, to the point that it's a healthy obsession and not an unhealthy one. I'm sure I could do a whole video on this subject matter and I actually do intend on doing that, kind of sitting down and, and having some more uh, serious talks and reflections on, on life and, and what's been going on with me and everything. I, I do plan on doing that because I really did enjoy making that uh, mental health video that I made a few months ago. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, uh, go ahead and give it a look. I'd appreciate that. But yeah, lots of stuff has been going on. I've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating, a lot of reflecting, and obviously that impacts my motivation and willingness to sit down and make these videos. So I do apologize, but I do appreciate you guys being patient with me and uh, showing your support and sending messages and, and keeping in touch during this kind of hiatus period. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And I have every intention of continuing to make videos, continuing to talk film and Blu-rays with you guys. So don't worry about that. Videos will be forthcoming. I'll probably sit down and make a more formal uh, channel update video where I kind of talk about what the future of the channel will be. Um, you know, especially once I kind of figure out what the future of the channel looks like, because right now I'm not totally sure, but I do have a huge backlog of hauls to show you guys. I know I just got done saying I was going to, you know, cut back and, and kind of change my collecting habits a bit, but I do have a huge backlog to show you guys. So I have a lot, a lot of stuff to get through. So I'll go ahead and try and do that. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for reaching out and checking in on me and Andrew as well, and just seeing how we're doing during this period. I'm excited to be back. I have a ton of Blu-rays to show you guys. This is gonna be a massive haul video. I know I'm gonna break up at least a little bit of this because there's just no way I can do this all in one haul video, but I'll go ahead and try and get through as much of it as I possibly can and I'll break it up as needed. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Hope everybody's doing well. I also plan on doing more lives in the future. So if you guys are interested on in coming on the channel and just chatting movies and Blu-rays and whatnot, let me know. I would love to have you on. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started in this massive haul video. So first up, I have some titles that were sent to me by Mill Creek Entertainment. Really exciting. I uh, finally got on their review list and uh, I'm very excited to uh, check out these new titles that they sent me. So thank you so much, Mill Creek. First thing we got here is an Ultraman uh, series plus movie combo pack. I am not very well versed in the Ultraman uh, sphere, so I do apologize. I don't know a ton about this, uh, but th this is the Ultraman Ultra Galaxy show, I guess. I don't know. I'll go ahead and show you the front. You guys can check that out. Again, I'm not very well versed in Ultraman. I'm kind of going in blind to these. If you guys have like a guide or, or some advice on how to uh, delve into these, uh, please do let me know. But uh, yeah, 
got a Ultraman set here, so that's awesome. Next up is a double pack with two films called Toy Soldiers and December. Uh, Toy Soldiers I've heard of. I know Sony released like a standalone release quite a while ago. I never got around to picking it up. I've always wanted to check it out. It looks interesting, has a good cast. You got Sean Astin, Will Wheaton, Keith Coogan. Uh, I've always been interested in that one. Um, December I know nothing about. Will Wheaton's in that one as well. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to checking these two out. And then we have Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds in Safe House. I have seen this movie before. Um, I think I do own like the Universal release. I, I do remember enjoying it. Not anything super memorable, but uh, yeah, I am looking forward to giving it another watch sometime soon. And then another double pack here, we have Miami Vice and The Kingdom. I've seen Miami Vice, but I've not seen The Kingdom. Both Jamie Foxx films. Uh, looking forward to checking out The Kingdom for sure. If you guys have any thoughts or or anything on any of these titles let me know another double pack got a few of them here uh, this one comes with the adjustment bureau and the good shepherd uh, the adjustment bureau really underrated movie i really love that film uh, really cool like sci-fi thriller with matt damon and emily blunt definitely one that's uh, well worth your time uh, also got the good shepherd which is directed by robert de niro i've never seen it but uh Definitely intrigued to check that one out. And again, all of these are available from Mill Creek Entertainment if you guys want to check them out. You guys know Mill Creek does a great job. They're always releasing awesome titles and for really good prices. I think that's one of the best things about Mill Creek is they just don't break the bank, which is awesome. Uh, this next one is a Mark Wahlberg double pack. You got Contraband and Fear. Contraband, I feel like I've seen it, but I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe I haven't. Uh, but Fear, I definitely have. It's a classic 90s erotic thriller. A lot of fun. Can't go wrong with Mark Wahlberg. Next up is a film with Sean Connery that I've wanted to see for quite some time, and that is Finding Forrester. Um, this one, of course, is directed by Gus Van Sant. Um, it's just one I've always heard about and wanted to see, so I'm really excited to give this one a look. Next up, this is a great film here, very underrated, very underseen, and that is Alpha Dog. You got a great cast in this film, Ben Foster, Emil Hirsch, Sharon Stone, Justin Timberlake, the late Anton Yelchin, who is just one of my all-time favorite actors, as well as Bruce Willis. Uh, just a really, really good film, kind of a harrowing story, but uh, it's, it's very good. Definitely recommend checking this one out. And then this one's pretty awesome. It is the complete season one of Sonic Boom. Always been a fan of Sonic, so i um, definitely intrigued to give this a look. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, those are all the Blu-rays I got from Mill Creek. I also got some DVDs, so I'll go ahead and show those to you. First one is a film called Pasture. Don't know too much about it, but it does say it's a Lynchian nightmare, so that alone intrigues me. Definitely looking forward to it. And then we also have the complete series of The Critic, which is something I didn't know too much about, but when I saw that I would be getting it from them, I looked into it. It looks like something that will be a lot of fun, and it also looks like something that will be right up Andrew's alley, you know, being animation. Um, so yeah, The Critic. Next up we have Becoming Evil, Serial Killers of the Old West. Um, really like true crime stuff. This one looks interesting. I think this is a series that they've been doing, these Becoming Evil titles. So uh, yeah, this could be interesting. Again, really like true crime, so looking forward to checking it out. Next up, we have a double pack of Problem Child and Problem Child 2. I have seen Problem Child, but have never seen the second one. So yeah, I'm excited that I can add the second one to the collection now. And lastly, we have a couple of eight movie collections. Admittedly, when I first started collecting this is kind of what I thought of when I thought of Mill Creek. It's these giant collections of films. Um, and yes, they are still putting out the goods. This one is a Van Damme 8 movie collection. Uh, you got Street Fighter, The Quest, Maximum Risk, Double Team, Knockoff, Universal Soldier, The Return, Second in Command, and The Hardcore. So if you guys are looking to just have a shit ton of Van Damme action, <laughs> check this out because this is a good way to get a whole bunch of his movies uh, really awesome and then this one is a Bruce Willis collection here a movie collection you got Sunset Hudson Hawk the whole nine yards mortal thoughts perfect stranger the jackal mercury rising and alpha dog so yeah if you guys want to up your your Bruce Willis or Van Damme collecting game definitely get into these um, but again, I want to thank Mill Creek for sending those to me and uh, 
I am very appreciative to them. If you guys want to hear some more thoughts on some of these titles, obviously I'm going to sit down and watch quite a few of them and, and do some reviews and thoughts on them in the future. But if there's one that you kind of want me to get into sooner rather than later, uh, be sure to let me know and I will write it down and get around to it. So yeah, thank you Mill Creek for sending me those titles. Um, next up, got some import titles and a bunch of label stuff to get into. So let's just dive right in. First thing I got here is The Big Blue. Uh, this is directed by Luke Besson, Luke Besson, however you say his name. Um, I feel like I always know how to say someone's name and then I get in front of the camera and I completely forget. Um, but yeah, big Luke Besson fan. Uh, you got Rosanna Arquette and Jean Reno from Leon the Professional in here. Don't think this has a Region A release, so uh, yeah, definitely excited to add it to the collection. Got this from Orbit DVD. A retailer that I absolutely recommend. They do some great work. So yeah, the big blue. Next up I got the 4K of Don't Look Now. This is a Nicholas Rogue film. Um, I do own the Criterion, but this is one that I just really, really enjoyed. And when I saw there was a 4K of it, I just, I had to grab it. This is a really, really well done film. And I was uh, interested to see how it looked on 4K. So yeah, very excited to add this to the collection. I've been on a bit of an Albert Brooks kick the last couple months, ever since I got Defending Your Life from Criterion. So I picked up the indicator release of Modern Romance. Um, this is a film starring Albert Brooks and Katherine Harold. Um, I watched it shortly after I picked it up because again, I'm just really on an Albert Brooks kick right now. I really, really enjoyed this film. I was a little tired when I watched it, so it's probably one I'll revisit sooner rather than later, but I definitely enjoyed this. Albert Brooks's directing style is just right up my alley. Really enjoy his work and uh, yeah, this one was no exception. Next up from BFI, I got Deep End. This is another one that I picked up from Orbit DVD. It was pretty cheap don't know too much about it. I've had it on my wish list for ages. I feel like I do this so often. I'll add something to my wish list or like my Amazon UK cart and then I couldn't even tell you um, why it was on the wish list to begin with. I don't remember but I know that I wanted it for one reason or another and this is one of those titles. So yeah, if you guys have any thoughts on Deep End, let me know. Next up from Blue Underground on 4K, we have The Final Countdown. Sorry, that lenticular is not looking great with the light there. Uh, but I got this one sent to me from MVD for review, so very much looking forward to checking it out. I've actually owned the standard Blue Underground release for quite some time and have never watched it, but I'm looking forward to checking it out on 4K for the first time because Blue Underground does some fantastic work with the releases, so there's no doubt in my mind that this will look and sound great. So yeah, the final countdown. Next up, I think this is a new label out of the UK called Fractured Visions. I picked this one up because I'm a huge Sergio Martino fan, and that is Silent Action. Uh, obviously a little bit more of an action crime film from, from Italy, uh, from Sergio Martino, but uh, really looking forward to giving this one a look. This is a nice, nice little box set there, got some nice packaging. Uh, looking forward to seeing what else this label does in the future, but anytime I see a Sergio Martino film being released, I have to grab it. Next up from Imprint Films, I have The Mothman Prophecies. This is one I've wanted to see for a really long time. Stars Richard Gere and Laura Linney. Um, I've always heard really good things about it. Always just had the DVD in the US though, so I never got around to it, but uh, looking forward to checking it out on Blu-ray. This one's kind of a random release. Sometimes you just see these titles pop up on like Diabolic DVD or Orbit DVD and you just get intrigued by them and have to check them out. And this is one of them and that is Meatball Machine. This I believe, yes, is a Japanese film. I'm a huge fan of Japanese cinema. Uh, so definitely looking forward to giving this one a look. It looks absolutely wacky and crazy, so I'm sure I'll have fun with it. Next, I have two new releases from Massacre Video. First one being Toxic Zombies. Always have a lot of fun with the Massacre titles. I've never heard of like anything that they ever release, but again, I always have a ton of fun with them. And this is my number nine from them. This next one I actually have no idea how to pronounce. Mahakal, I believe it is. Um, this is a Bollywood exorcist ripoff i do believe uh definitely intrigued to give this one a look it it just sounds wild and crazy and wouldn't expect anything less from massacre video and i have no idea how to say that title so comment down below with how to say it and i have a couple of releases from warner archive first one being a jackie chan film 
and that is Drunken Master 2. Uh, definitely looking forward to giving this a look. Love Jackie Chan, love checking out his movies, so awesome of them to release this one. And the next one is actually a DVD release for Warner Archive, but it's a movie I wanted to see for a long time, and that is Airborne. I love anything about like action sports, you know, rad, that kind of stuff. And this is about rollerblading, which is something that I really loved to do when I was a kid, so uh, very much looking forward to watching this one. Next up from Kino, I have The Hot Spot. This one intrigued me for the cast alone and the fact that it's directed by Dennis Hopper and again stars Don Johnson and Virginia Madsen and Jennifer Connelly, three people that I really, really like. Um, I believe this is kind of like a neo-noir film. Don't know too much about it, but uh, really looking forward to checking it out. Next up from Kino, I have the 4K of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I realize now that I got very lucky to get this with the slipcover because it just disappeared so, so quickly right after it came out. But yeah, very happy to have this, obviously directed by Sergio Leone. And I have to admit it, I've never seen this film. I've bought it a few times now. I bought like the standard release and then the uh, first release that Kino did. And I uh, intended on checking it out when that was released, but I heard that the transfer was not very good, but I heard that they kind of fixed it up and made it look a little bit better in this one. So uh, very happy to have it on 4K and looking forward to checking it out soon. Next, we have a new release from Paramount Presents who are just absolutely knocking it out of the park. I mean, Paramount in general, I mean, they're just announcing stuff like daily, like new to blue, fresh releases, awesome stuff. So Paramount, nobody's really doing it better than them. And this is a release I've really been looking forward to and that is Mommy Dearest. This is actually a film I have never seen. I bought the DVD not too long ago and I even joked in a video saying, you know, now that I bought the DVD, this will come out on Blu-ray. So you're welcome guys. Thanks to me and my buying of the DVD, this is now on Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking this out. Love these Paramount Presents releases. They're just doing some great, great work. Paramount's bringing literally everything to Blu-ray right now. so. I kind of love them. So yeah, mommy dearest. Next up we have Cecil B. DeMille's The Greatest Show on Earth. Not really one that looks to be right up my alley, but uh, I am buying all of these Paramount Presents releases, which I may have shot myself in the foot with that, but <laughs> yeah, lots of good stuff to be had. I'm not the biggest fan of like The Greatest Showman, that kind of stuff, uh, these kind of musicals, but I will give this a chance. I do like Marlon Brando. I will probably watch it at some point. Next up we have Hallucination Generation. So this has a really nice slipcover on it, pretty much like the quality of a Vinegar Syndrome slipcover. Got this one from Diabolic DVD. There's the inner artwork there. I know next to nothing about this. Again, another one of those titles that I just saw online and just kind of had to grab it because it looked intriguing. So yeah. There you go. This next one is a Diabolic DVD slipcover exclusive from IFC Midnight. We have Witching and Bitching. What a great title that is. Again, really nice quality slipcover on this one. Pretty much like Vinegar Syndrome quality. Uh, obviously they've hired some of the same people to do this, but uh, yeah, really excited about this one and love the cover art and it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Next up, I have a release that I supported on Indiegogo, I believe it was, quite a while ago. It's a really fun fan film project, a Friday the 13th fan film. This is the sequel to Never Hike Alone, and that is Never Hike in the Snow. Uh, this admittedly was not as good as Never Hike Alone, but I did enjoy it uh, from Womstomp Films, and it did come with this little card. It's numbered, says thank you, has a little autograph, as well as the artwork on the other side. Uh, not as cool of a release overall as the one that came with uh, Never Hike Alone, with like the red case and everything, but I know there's like a case shortage or something going on. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, Never Hike in the Snow. Happy to have it. Next up, this is one that Andrew purchased. Um, it's a film I don't know too much about, but this is a really cool release. It is called Son of the White Mare. This is really unique packaging. It kind of opens up like a letter, as you can see here, and just the feel of this slipcover. So, so different than anything I've seen before. I'll go ahead and pull this out so you can see the uh, inner artwork. Um, but yeah, animated film, I do believe. It also comes with these like, I don't know if these are like paper dolls or something, little 
paper cutouts you can you could do for the film and again very interesting artwork interesting packaging excuse me uh where it kind of opens up like a letter um yeah son of the white mare if you want to know more about it ask andrew because i know nothing but yeah cool release next up from unearthed films we have no reason uh, i picked this one up from bull moose it was actually used and this just came out like not too long ago so i got it for a pretty decent deal so went ahead and grabbed it. I know the July Barnes & Noble Criterion sale is in full swing right now, but these two titles I got well over a month ago, probably in the month of May or whenever this one came out. I can't remember when that was. I have picked up some Criterions. I will have those to show you guys probably in their own video or maybe at the end of July. Not really sure what, what I'm doing with that yet, but uh, rest assured I have gotten some criterions during this sale but the first title that I'm talking about here is Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Whenever this one came out I got it pretty much the day it came out. <laughs> I haven't even opened it yet. Suppose I could have waited for the criterion sale but oh well what can you do. Um, I'm a huge fan of this film. Of course written by Cameron Crowe who's one of my favorite directors and writers and directed by Amy Heckerling who has made just some awesome films. I've heard kind of some so-so things about the transfer but I am looking forward to checking it out myself really love the artwork the presentation and everything it is a new 4k transfer i've heard they've kind of like edited some things on it so not not sure how i feel about that but i am looking forward to giving it a look i'll hang on to my other release just in case but uh it was still a worthwhile pickup in my opinion again really do love this film one of my favorite coming of age films from the 80s just an awesome awesome flick and the next criterion release i have here is a dvd release from lars von trier we have europa had this one on my Amazon wish list, and my awesome friend Chase Wilson sent this to me. So thank you so much, Chase. I love you. I appreciate you. You're awesome. And I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Kind of have to be in a certain mood to check out Lars von Trier films, but uh, I have no doubt that I will enjoy this. And then from MVD Rewind, we have Drive. I think I might be a few releases behind from MVD Re Rewind, but I am trying to pick up all of these. This one looks like a lot of fun. Uh, one I don't have any history with, don't know too much about it, but it does have Brittany Murphy in it, so uh, that alone intrigues me. I'm trying to see what year this movie's from. Whenever you actually try to find the year the movie's from, you can never find it. But yeah, we have Drive. And then from a label in the UK called Second Run, uh, we have Goodbye Dragon Inn. Uh, I've heard about this from a few different YouTubers and it just sounded really intriguing. It's definitely one I'm gonna have to be in like a certain mood to watch because I've heard it's a very slow moving film. Um, but I am looking forward to checking it out at some point. Unfortunately, the, the case that it came in is like totally cracked. I'm not sure if you can, can see that up there. Um, and it's dang near impossible to get replacement cases at all in the US, let alone a one of the, the thicker UK release cases. But oh well, as long as it doesn't fall apart, I will be okay with this. But yeah. Goodbye, Dragon Inn. Looking forward to it. Next up, I have a whole stack of releases from Eureka. Not even sure how I ended up with this many. I think most of these came from Orbit DVD. Again, a, a website that you guys should definitely check out. Uh, but so many new releases from Eureka. So let's just dive into it. First one we have is Karloff at Columbia. Uh, this is a multi-film set. This comes with six films as well as the complete Mad Doctor series. So you've got The Black Room, The Men They Could Not Hang, The Man With Nine Lives, Before I Hang, The Devil Commands, and The Boogeyman Will Get You. So a really cool release. I don't know too much about these but I'm a, a big fan of Karloff and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how these are. Next up we have three films with Sammo Hung really trying to get into some more uh, like Hong Kong Chinese cinema and uh, Sammo Hung is definitely one to get into. Uh, this comes with Eastern Condors, The Iron Fisted Monk, and The Magnificent Butcher. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Next we have the Once Upon a Time in China trilogy. A really nice little box set from Eureka here. Don't know too much about these films but again these are ones that just kind of intrigued me. Of course you have Once Upon a Time in China 1, 2, and 3 in this box set. If you guys can let me know where I should start with some of these films let me know because I'm not very well versed in these kind of movies but uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to diving into them. And I love that Eureka just really expands my film knowledge and my film collection and allows me to see films from all corners of the earth. I think it's really cool. 
Uh, next up we have Drunken Master. This is one of the Masters of Cinema releases. Of course, since um, Warner Archive was releasing the second film, I had to pick this one up. And uh, yeah, the Masters of Cinema releases are so, so nice. So yeah, very excited about this one. This next one is actually a double dip, but it looked to be a worthy pickup. And that is Mind Warp. I own the Twilight Time release of this one. It's a very unique film. I almost dropped it on the floor there. Uh, but yeah, this is a very unique film, kind of a post-apocalyptic Mad Max feeling type movie. Um, you got Bruce Campbell in here. Yeah, it's just, it's a really intriguing film. Very different than anything I've seen before. And uh, I remember really enjoying it and it has some great special features, great packaging, everything. Uh, usually worth picking up these Eureka releases, even if you already own another copy of the film, uh, just simply because they just do a great job. So yeah, mind warp. I decided I wasn't going to talk that much about each individual title because I have so much to go through, yet I'm talking endlessly about each one. So very sorry guys, but I've been away from YouTube for a while, so you guys can handle a long one, right? Next up we have Made in Hong Kong. This is a film from 1997 don't know too much about it, but I've heard that it's a really, really good film. This is a Masters of Cinema series as well, um, number 238, if you guys care about the number. But yeah, very intrigued by this one. And then we have The Specialists. Really excited that a bunch of these came with slipcovers. Another side note on Orbit DVD. I'm not being paid by them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just a website I really recommend. Another side note about them is they list if a, a title comes with a slipcover or not, which is really awesome. If you're a collector and you're kind of wondering, you know, where you're putting your money, what you're going to be getting out of your money, that's a really helpful tool. So yeah, The Specialist. This one is a two film set. Uh, both films are directed by John Woo. You have Last Hurrah for Chivalry and The Hand of Death. I uh, definitely need to get into John Woo's filmography a bit more, so yeah, looking forward to that one. I, I feel like I, I have a lot to learn and a lot to check out. Um, when it comes to a lot of like martial arts films and whatnot. So if you guys have any direction to give me on that, please let me know. Next up, another Masters of Cinema here, we have Throwdown, which if I'm not mistaken, I think that uh, Criterion just announced this one. Um, either way, I kind of forgot that I had picked it up, but uh, yeah, looking forward to giving it a look and if I really like it and if the uh, Criterion version seems to be worth a pickup, maybe I will double dip at some point, but for now I can check it out. Got another Jackie Chan flick here, and that is City Hunter. I'm going to try and move through these a little bit quicker. Uh, next up we have King of Hearts. Uh, this is a film that looks really intriguing to me, um, and it's by a director that I've kind of been getting into. I won't try to pronounce his name because I will say it wrong, but that is Journey to the Shore. Uh, I saw the director's other film called Cure recently and I absolutely loved it. So uh, really looking forward to checking out some more of his filmography. Kind of forgot that that was going to be the next one up, but I uh, also grabbed Cure. Again, these have all been kind of like sitting in here for weeks on end and I've kind of forgotten what is in these piles. Uh, but yeah, I just recently watched this one and I absolutely loved it. This was so, so good, right up my alley. Um, and I definitely need to check out some more of his films like Tokyo Sonata and uh, Journey to the Shore. Um, but if you guys have any other films that are like this that you could recommend to me, please let me know because I absolutely loved this film. We have The Bride with White Hair, One-Armed Boxer, and I believe this is the last Eureka title for this haul video, and that is Time and Tide. Again, I really love what Eureka's doing. They're releasing a lot of really cool like Asian cinema as well as like Italian stuff. They just release a little bit of everything. Uh, they're very close up there to like Criterion in terms of quality and presentation and everything. So love Eureka and uh, somehow ended up with a huge ass stack of their releases, uh, but very excited to, uh, to have those and to check them out. Got a lot of really great cinema to dive into. Another great uh, UK label who actually just recently announced their first uh, North American release is 88 Films. And I got a huge stack of their releases to go through, so we'll go ahead and dive into those. First up is a Shaw Brothers release here, and that is Come Drink With Me. We got Mystery Men, which I think uh, Kino is releasing in the US. I'm not sure if it's going to be a different transfer. I would imagine it probably will be. Never seen this movie before, so uh, looking forward to it. I've heard a lot about it over the years. And then we have Murphy's Law with Charles Bronson. 
Humanoids from the Deep. I do own the Scream Factory edition, but I really, really love this movie. This is one of my favorite creature features, so I kind of had to double dip on this one. Got another Jackie Chan flick here. We got Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. They've definitely been serving up the goods when it comes to Jackie Chan flicks lately, so good on 88 films for that. Next up we have Heroes Shed No Tears, another film directed by John Woo. Again, a director that I really need to get into. And then we have a Van Damme flick here, which is another uh, person that they've really been releasing tons of films from, and that is Street Fighter. Then we have Joe Bullet, Legionnaire. And this is actually one of the limited edition ones. Got number 1676 of 3000. I am happy though that their standard releases of the Van Damme films still come with slip covers because really that's all that matters to me. And then we have The Enchanting Ghost. Got this for like five dollars or something off their website. A really awesome deal. Next up we have North Sea Hijack, Karate Warrior, this super epic release of Short Circuit 2. It's got a hard box and everything. It's a very thick box. Awesome release for this film. I've never seen this one, but I really, really love the first film. So if another company can put out like an adjoining release for this one, that would be awesome. And last thing I got from 88 Films is the Urban Legends trilogy. Really nice packaging on this one. Got separate artwork for all three films, which I always appreciate. Still super bummed I didn't pick up the I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy set. I know there's like a standard release that came out that's like the thin box set, but I really want the one that's like this with the three separate artworks for the films. Uh, eventually, hopefully, I will find that. Um, but either way, I'm happy to have the Urban Legends trilogy in the collection. Obviously, I do own the first one from Scream Factory, but I don't own the other two, so looking forward to checking them out. And some more label stuff to show you. From Shout Factory, we have The Legend of Hi? He? Hey? Don't know how to say it. What else is new? Um, but yeah, got that one. And then from Shout Select, we have Explorers. Uh, starring Ethan Hawke, a very young Ethan Hawke, as you can see on the back there. Uh, I'd never seen this film before. I heard lots of people talk about it over the years. I uh, got some alternate artwork I'll show you there. Kind of had a Goonies type vibe to it, but admittedly I'm not a big Goonies fan. Definitely enjoyed this one a little bit more. Liked kind of the sci-fi uh, twist to the plot. Definitely enjoyed it cute little film with Ethan Hawke and Ruby Phoenix. Definitely one I would watch again at some point. And then the latest limited edition Roger Corman releases from Shout Factory. The first one is Big Bad Mama and Big Bad Mama 2. And then we have Crazy Mama and The Lady in Red. Don't know anything about these titles but whenever they release these limited releases I pretty much have to grab them. Another new release from Scream Factory we have King Kong. Uh, check this one out for the first time. It's a very interesting take on King Kong. Really a huge fan of Jessica Lange, so, or Lange, however you say her name. Uh, so I was really excited to see her in this film. Thought she was great. There's actually three different cuts or two different cuts of the film on here. Yeah, you got the theatrical cut and the extended broadcast television cut. There's quite a big difference in the run times as well. 134 minutes and 182 minutes. So I opted for the theatrical cut on first watch. Uh, maybe down the line I'll check out the television cut. Not sure if it's really worth it, but I, I did enjoy what I saw. So yeah, had a lot of fun with King Kong. Next up we have Event Horizon. I know this is one literally everyone's been grabbing. I haven't checked out the uh, new transfer on this one. It is a new 4K scan though. Um, but this is a very enjoyable sci-fi film. You definitely feel like that existential dread of being out in space in this movie. Uh, they definitely capture that really well in this one. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to checking out this release at some point. It's a great film. Happy that Scream Factory released it. And next up from Shout Select we have Human Nature. I was very keen to check this one out, uh, of course, because it is written by Charlie Kaufman. I mean, his movies are wacky and out there and wild and I just have a lot of fun with them. Got a great cast in this one including uh, Tim Robbins and Patricia Arquette so looking forward to giving it a look. Another new release from Scream Factory which may be the dumbest title and cover art of all time but I am willing to give it a look and that is The Unhealer. 
looks to be kind of like a Stranger Things type ripoff, at least based on the cover art. Uh, I will give it a look. It's a dumb title and bad cover art, but uh, yeah, we'll check it out. This one I'm really excited to get into. I'm a huge Jude Law fan and I've heard some pretty decent things about this, and that is The Nest. If you guys have seen this one, uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, this is from the director of Martha Marcy May Marlene. That's a mouthful. Uh, really, really good film with uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Very underrated, very underseen. So definitely recommend checking that one out, but uh, looking forward to the nest. Next up, we have Embattled, new release from Shot Factory and IFC Films. Don't know too much about it, but you got uh, Steven Dorff in there, so. Yeah, we'll check it out, see how it is. And I hadn't realized how many uh, Shout Factory and Scrape Factory releases I had gotten over the last couple months. Uh, next up with Charlton Heston, we have The Awakening. Never seen this one before. And we have He Knows You're Alone, a highly anticipated Blu-ray release for me. Uh, you got your first on-screen appearance from Tom Hanks in this movie. It's a really fun slasher, really do enjoy this one. I'm very excited it's on Blu-ray. We have an Oliver Stone film here, and that is The Hand. I have not seen this one. I do own it on DVD, but I have never checked it out, so excited that it made its Blu-ray debut. And then starring Jennifer Jason Leigh, we have Eyes of a Stranger. Really, really like this one. Um, huge Jennifer Jason Leigh fan. I think she's fantastic in this movie. Very excited to see this one get a Blu-ray release as well. And the last thing we have here from Scream Factory is Kindred. Um, another kind of IFC Midnight release. Uh, looks like it could be interesting. Don't know anything about it, but uh, I do like these IFC films, so uh, looking forward to checking it out. Next up, got some titles from Severin. I haven't gotten my stuff from their mid-year sale yet. Probably do a separate video for those, um, but I do have Santa Sangre. Sangre? Uh, not sure how to say it. Uh, this is the 4K release. Really awesome. This is the Alejandro Jodorowsky film. Really should look up how to say people's names before I start recording. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to checking this one out. It looks like a really interesting film. I've heard a lot about it over the years, so this makes a good companion piece to the recent uh, Arrow box that I picked up from him. So yeah. Also got the new release of Grizzly. Wasn't gonna double dip, actually triple dip on this one. Uh, but I did give in. This is a really fun creature feature though. Probably one of the better like Jaws ripoffs. We got Day of the Animals. Deep Blood. I actually watched this one. It was okay. It wasn't anything great. Uh, definitely a Joe Tomato film if you guys know what I mean. Then I've got some Arrow releases here. This one was sent to me by MVD. Uh, very appreciative to them for that. Um, and that is Switchblade Sisters directed by Jack Hill. Really looking forward to watching this one. I'll definitely give it a look and let you guys know what I think of it and what I think of the transfer and everything. Probably going to review a few of these uh, label titles, so let me know if there's any that you guys want to hear more about or my thoughts on, and I will do a separate video covering that. So yeah, Switchblade Sisters. And this one is directed by Park Chan Wook. Very excited to give this one a look, and that is JSA. One that I've heard some really good things about. Really enjoy his films, so very excited to check this one out. Then we have A Ghost of Waits. The Stylist, Over the Edge with the Arrow Video Store um, exclusive O-Card slipcover. Um, I watched this one shortly after I picked it up, really enjoyed it. Great like um, delinquent youth type film where you know they're kind of punk rock kids that are up to no good, kind of getting into trouble. Uh, really did enjoy this one though. A pretty early film with Matt Dillon, so yeah enjoyed it. And then I picked up the 4k release of Django. This is a really enjoyable spaghetti western, one of the few that I've actually seen, so I knew I wanted to grab the 4k when I saw they were releasing it. Next I want to talk about one of my favorite UK labels right now, and that is Second Sight. I got Walkabout from them. This one was sold out on their website for quite a while, so very excited that it came back in stock. This is directed by Nicholas Rogue, who did um, Don't Look Now and a few other films that I'm blanking on right now, but I've heard some really good things about this one, so very, very excited to check it out. And it's a really nice release. You got like a booklet, like a couple of booklets, a poster. I mean, Second Sight, they do some great, great work. And then I also double dipped on The Nightingale. I will admit I have not watched this film yet. I also own the Shout Factory release, directed by Jennifer Kent, who did The Babadook 
heard nothing but good things about this film. Not sure why I haven't watched it yet, but I will check it out soon. Uh, another double dip here, and that is Host. You guys know I really, really enjoyed this movie. A very simple yet effective scary horror film. Had a lot of fun with it. Probably one of my favorite things to come out of the pandemic. Um, one of my favorite creative things to come out of the pandemic, that is. Songbird was terrible. A lot of stuff that's kind of been based in COVID has been terrible, but this one was actually really good, so yeah. And then I also picked up Raw. This is a great coming-of-age horror film. Um, if you want to combine like gore and coming-of-age elements and cannibalism and horror, it's just so, so well done. Great, great film well worth a double dip. And the last thing that I grabbed from Second Sight and the main reason I placed this whole order was for Lake Mungo. Very, very excited this got a Blu-ray release. I recently picked this one up on DVD, so of course, thanks to me, it has come out on Blu-ray. Um, but I did watch the DVD and this film actually kind of got under my skin. It was really creepy, really effective, really well done. Um, but yeah, Lake Mungo, very excited to have it on Blu-ray. And Second Sight, they're doing the Lord's work over there. They're releasing some great shit. Sorry I didn't have a ton to say about these titles. Again, a lot of these have kind of just been sitting in this room for ages. Um, I haven't even really scratched the surface of everything I've picked up over the last few months, but I think that's what I'll do for this video. Um, I just really wanted to show you the stuff that Mill Creek sent over to me. They were very nice to send that. Yeah, I have a ton of stuff to show you guys, and I, I, I don't think I could do it all in one video, but uh, yeah, sorry I didn't have a ton of valuable things to say about these titles. Again, they've kind of just been sitting in here, and I've been going through a lot and uh, not had a lot of time to uh, watch new stuff, but I, I definitely will catch up soon and uh, check them out and get back to you guys and let you know what I think of them. I do again appreciate your support so so much. You guys have been amazing through this time and I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. I know the world's just been absolutely crazy over the last year or so and yeah if you guys want to reach out to me at any time you know my offer that I, I put out there in my mental health video that, that goes out there all the time. If you guys need someone to talk to you, I'm here. I don't know how helpful I'll be, but I am absolutely willing to listen and chat with you guys, even if it is just about, you know, movies or just normal life things. I, I love chatting with people and talking to new people, so definitely hit me up on my Instagram, moviebuffbeth. Look forward to more videos. I don't know that they will be weekly or anything like that, but I will try to put out content and uh, keep you guys entertained, so. Thank you guys for being here. I will stop blabbing now, but look forward to at least one or two more haul videos in the coming days or weeks, whenever I'm able to put these out. But yeah, appreciate you guys so much. Hope you're doing well. Thank you to our patrons. Sorry this is going on for so, so long. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, but yeah, thank you to our patrons. Appreciate you guys so much. If you guys are interested in signing up, uh, check that out. I'll probably be revamping it a bit more as I go forward and kind of rebrand the channel here. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Hopefully you're watching lots of movies, buying lots of cool Criterions, picking up all these cool 4K catalog titles that have been coming out lately. I'm um, looking forward to interacting with you guys on a live again very soon. Uh, you guys are awesome. Take care.